lady friends, it's Gwen and I'm back today with another scrapbooking process video. Today's share is for Coco Vanilla Studio and it's Thursday. So we are doing a throwback Thursday. So I am going to throw things way back to the Endless Summer collection. This is quite an old one, but I do have quite a lot of it left. So I thought it would be a really fun opportunity to use up some of these goodies. Now, of course, I've got a plan. Um, I am going to be using these paper kites that are cut files from Cut To You. I have backed them with some pattern paper scraps and I've added some stitching details. I've also uh, added some stitching around my photos as I normally do and around my background for the layout. So the papers in this collection um, I'm using today, the Blue Skies, that's the one with all the clouds on it there. And then the border for my uh, page, which is also the same paper that I've used to mount my photos with, and actually the same paper that's in the bow part of the kites. I'm all about them bows. That one is called Sun Bleached, and it's a beautiful ombre uh, plain uh, pattern paper, really lovely. And then the floral that's in the kites there, that one is called Aloha. And this is the idea for the layout. I kind of want to create a landscape of sorts, a very uh, abstract landscape, and in fact, mainly sky. So the background is the sky. The kites are going to go on the right and sort of sit in the sky. And then my photos I'm going to position at the bottom of the page to kind of give them a feeling of being more grounded. I'm really liking that little strip of sand that runs along the bottom edge of both of the photos. And I feel like that's really helping me to ground the layout. And I'm hoping my plan is that the elements on the layout extend out from the photo. So the photo was definitely the inspiration for this page. And I'm yeah, as I said, I ho I'm hoping that the layout is more of an extension of the photos than anything else. It's at this point in the um, process that I definitely know where I'm going. I've definitely got the structure of the layout sorted. I did do a very quick sweep through all of the embellishments that I have, especially those die cut pieces. And I was noticing that I had a lot of uh, rectangular sort of style sentiment pieces. So those ones that you see there at the top that say sun kissed, hello sunshine and blue skies. And I do end up running with those a little bit just to try and get a few of those on the page. The eye is going to travel from the top where that um, flare button is, that little cloud flare button. It's sort of going to start there, I hope, and then flow down the kites and across towards the photos. So all of my embellishments that I'm going to place are going to go with that same flow. Oh yes, I want to tell you about the flower sticker here uh, that I have placed at the top of the page. That one is from the accessory sticker sheet and I thought I wanted it there and then I decided that maybe flowers shouldn't be in the sky and if I'm keeping with my, my first idea to have elements that are more grounding at the bottom, it would make more sense that flowers should be towards the bottom of the layout. I also uh, auditioned it as one piece in several places and I couldn't really get it to work the way that I wanted to. So I was feeling brave and I did cut it in half. So you can totally do that with your stickers, friends. You don't have to um, use them all as one piece. I did chop this one in half and uh, the smaller flower there, the little minty green one. That one does end up staying towards the bottom of the layout, but the bigger one does end up a little further uh, towards the top of the page. So you will see that in a moment. I am going to lock into position the kites now. I do have them up on some foam just for a bit of dimension. The one, the one more towards the right is flat to the page. Uh, the the main one, the bigger one, I have raised up on foam. And I am going to now run a few of those sentiment banner pieces up along the edge of the kite there. 
It's at this point that I realised that the flowers could actually nestle in underneath the flare button and against the kite there really nicely. So whilst I kind of feel like, oh, it, it does kind of go against my original plan in that it is a flower in the sky, I still feel like it works. I feel like I can get away with it. Um, yeah, I just feel like it sits, it helps the flow of the page so much that it's worth it not being, I guess, scientifically correct. <laughs> So with that decision made, I can then go ahead and continue to add elements to the layout that sort of support everything that's already locked in place. And I do end up with, uh, yeah, the blue skies, uh, like sentiment part. That enjoy uh, that you can see there, that actually doesn't stay. Oh, it does actually. It just gets shuffled a little bit. I do have a little bit of a play with lots of combinations of those elements up there. I'm looking at the length of each of the pieces and I'm hoping that nothing that I fit up there is too heavy. I, I yeah, I'm really conscious about the flow. I'm conscious about nothing standing out too much and all the pieces just working together really nicely. Now to also help with that, I have added a couple of uh, similar elements to the bottom of the page. So that little piece on the right hand side of the right photo says, hello sunshine. And that is a wooden embellishment from the wood veneer pack. And then underneath that, I have this really long sticker that says, oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. And that one is from the accessory sticker sheet. And it's the perfect length because it runs across both photos. And I feel like that really helps to sort of create like a horizon of sorts, a lengthways uh, element that grounds the layout. So just adding those two things I felt really helped balance out the bottom of the page to those elements that I've added at the top there. I want to mention here as well that I do go ahead and add in quite a few round elements and I feel like that really helps the layout too because we've got lovely roundness in the clouds on the pattern paper but then we've got a lot of uh, horizontal rectangles in all of those die cut pieces. So adding in some extra circular elements really helps soften things. So I've got, I've actually got two flare buttons from this collection on the page, which I'm happy about because I had six or seven left. So I've also added in some wood epoxy buttons. There's one there on the right that says, hey, and there's one in the center there that's just some cute little chevron uh, arrows and I'm also adding in two of the butterflies from the accessory sticker sheet and I've added a little enamel dot into the center of each of these. This collection came with some enamel dots that were different shapes as well so one's a heart and one's actually both are hearts. Really really cute, really really sweet, love them. And this piece here that says Hello Sunshine, it actually ends up being the title for the layout, which is so funny. It's been a long time since the title for the page has been an element that I've added last. So uh, that's fun. I do go ahead uh, off camera and add a little bit of stitching to it as well, just to help it stand out from all the other sentiments there, just to sort of feature it a little bit more. I am adding some liquid adhesive to everything, locking it into position, and I'm gonna call this one done. Thank you so much for being here, my creative friends. If you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook, I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for spending your creative time with me and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.